Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So, yeah, so there are lots of ways that you can help yourself to heal from this problem. So I'm gonna share some of these with you now. Um, they're in no particular order or anything like that, uh, but I suggest you get a pen and paper and you write these down as I say them. Um, so, the first one I would suggest is therapy. Have therapy. If you've never had therapy, therapy before, have it. Especially if you're a man. Because the thing is, a lot of men don't talk about their feelings and they should. And a lot of women don't as well. Um, and a lot, of, a lot of sex addicts are emotionally unavailable themselves. Which means they generally don't share their feelings with, with, with people. So... Um, so, so you, you're not going to be used to opening up about how you feel, but it's something that you need to get comfortable with. Um, so a therapy, have therapy. Talking with a professional will help so much. Like you, you really need to do it if you've never had it, because it will help you sort through all the past, the things that have happened to you, make sense of it. You know, um, just speaking things out loud, just reading them out loud sometimes, even just re write, writing down your whole life history you'll start to see the patterns and the things and where they stem from and that understanding is just so important for healing um so i would say therapy 100 percent um the second thing i would say you have to do is meditate meditate like it's it's so important the thing is meditation will help you in every area of your life it's it's such a it will transform your life it really will the thing is like so many of us go to the gym or you know we we feed ourselves every day but we never well you know we, we don't take the time to train our brains and you know train our minds in self-control and that's kind of what meditation does really is it trains your mind in self-control and as an addict, self-control is something that, that's not, not great. So you have to work on it, you know. Um, I mean, you know, in America, I mean, I don't know if you can do, have it done in this country. I've not actually looked into it. But in America, you can actually get your brain photographed. And you can actually see an addict's brain and why. Apparently, uh, in the, some of the books I've read on sex addiction, addicts have uh, quite an undeveloped prefrontal lobe which is kind of the bit that kind of um, rationalises before you um, decide to do something really risky. Um, so, you know, you can actually see, what, and, and that brain, that part of your brain develops in, in childhood. So, you know, it's, meditation can change, you know, the, your brain and um, the way you think. And that's important because in order to make new decisions, you have to think differently and you have to become somebody else in your thought processes. So meditation is so important. I would probably say it's the most important thing I'm going to mention. And no one likes to sit down and, you know, do these things at first. But one day it'll just become automatic. But for you to have clarity, peace of mind, calmness, self-control... You have to meditate you just have to it's there's no like two ways about it it's just something that you have to just introduce into your life that it has to be something that you're willing to do no matter what because that's what it takes and that's what you need to do so uh, i would meditate every day um for you know even if it means you're getting up early like if you have a really busy life um you know, you're just going to have to get up earlier and, and, and do it because it will help you change. So, um, you know, the third thing uh, I'll mention is just find some connections in your life. You know, genuine, honest connections. Connect with people. Connect with your partner. Don't be afraid to connect. Open your heart and connect with people. It, it is scary, yeah? But it's important that you do that. Like, you have to genuinely open up and connect with people. And when you have that genuine connection, you know, 
your your desire to use drugs or sex falls away because you ha you're being genuinely fulfilled you know and that connection can come through meditation as well through you know connecting with your higher power with with what i would call god you know um but it's just about connecting with something or or someone uh, we need that connection in our life it's, it's it's a human need and a lot of the time um addicts and an addiction is 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 when it's broken down is a lack of connection a lack of connections in your life so just push yourself to connect with people more as much as you can um Another thing you can do is go attend addict groups. So I attended SLA, Sex and Love Addicts Anonymous. That's an amazing group. I would attend that. Um, you know, the groups aren't for everyone. I didn't do the full 12 steps with them. I use the 12 steps of the, as a framework and I look at them a lot. Uh, they really help me. Um, but the groups are great. You get great support from people. You can get a sponsor. You can work through the, the step work. It's really, really good stuff. Um, they don't have lots of lots of the sex and love addicts meetings depending on what city and country you're in and things like that but um, they 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 do um, like lots of NA and things like that so you can always go to an, a, a Narcotics Anonymous or an Alcoholics Anonymous any 12 step group really the principles are, are similar and the thing is it doesn't really matter what you're addicted to it's all the same you know it, it's an addiction's trying to solve the same problem with, with just something different like the core you know you'll sit around there with those people and you'll listen to their stories and you'll relate to it so much and you'll realize that oh my gosh you know this is not my fault and that it feels amazing you know from from everyone um so many people judge addicts um unnecessarily which i don't think is really fair um so a lot of people do that um and and that's a place where you just will not get judged and people will accept you and share their stories and inspire you and support you in a loving environment where you can open up and talk without being judged so that's really really important um another thing i would recommend is exercising exercising is addictive what a, a better healthier thing to be addicted to get addicted to exercise instead uh, it will really help you and um, it'll make you feel better about yourself it'll give you a high self-esteem when you look good you feel good that's just the way of the world so you know it doesn't matter if you're not the prettiest or the most gorgeous guy in the world like if you exercise you will feel good about yourself it releases endorphins in your brain um, you, your body will change you know exercise and eat a healthy diet like just take just these basic things just getting enough rest because when you get enough rest you're not being triggered you know you're less likely to get triggered putting your sleep first um, not not going out for days on end party and things like that just keeping a nice rhythmic simple life as much as you can exercising uh, like I say is, is a great one to, to get addicted to um, especially if you're that kind of person who, who, you know, loves that rush, which as addicts we do. Um, yeah, do everything you can to heal your childhood wounds. I've mentioned therapy, definitely do uh, therapy. Uh, date, date emotionally available people. Make an effort to, to just say no. If they're married, no, it's just no. Like, if they're a workaholic, no. If you realise after dating them a few weeks that they drink every night, no, it's a no. Stop dating these people, you know. Uh, date people who are emotionally unavailable. And yet, at first, it will freak you out. And you'll be like, oh my God, I don't deserve this. Or, oh, you know, um, oh, I just, I, I don't deserve it. Or they're too good for me. Or all that crap. But you've got to tell yourself, and speak to yourself positively and, and and date emotionally available people date people who want to treat you nice who are there for you um you know date these people and make an effort to stop dating the people who you know stop giving these people chances if they're not working on their addiction you know if you're dating a guy who drinks every night and you want him to stop drinking and he's not doing anything well he's not changing is he so you change you 
you do everything you can to change you and, and only date people who are emotionally available, i.e. not people who are in active addiction, addiction. a recovering addict's fine, um, you know, if they're doing everything they can like you to, to change, then that's different, obviously. But I would say, you know, it's important for you to lead on to the next point. Have a period of alone time. If you've never done it before, it's really, really important that you do that. Have a period of time to yourself um, that where you know um, that, that you, you, have, you have to be on your own. No sex with anyone. I did three months. I mean, it's up to you what you do, but it's important for you to go through that period and deal with those feelings that come up because you have to deal with them when they come up it's so important so you know um you need to have that time i mean that's why the groups are good because you can have someone to support you through that um and someone will be there for you um but you know like I, I did mine without the support of the group in the end I started off with a group then I did it on my own and I, I did find it very hard I probably should have stayed with the group really um but but I didn't and I did do it and it was very very hard I had lots of scary feelings come up you know um I had these awful thoughts that I'd never had you know thoughts of wanting to harm myself um for thoughts of like wanting to cut myself really severe thoughts you know scary thoughts um but you know once them feelings of unworthiness came up i dealt with them i let them out one day i just cried for a full day like you know you just have to release it all and at the end you know you'll come out somebody new you know you've got to just do it um it's very hard but you have to become comfortable on your own and you may even want to do it for longer for some people who have an even bigger problem a period of alone time might even go on for a bit longer and I would recommend you to just kind of you know do do what you think is right sorry it's a bit late <laughs> um another one get out with nature every single day get outside with nature every single day um go for walks especially in the woods, be near water, um, just make an effort to get outside every single day. Being around nature will calm you, it will ground you, it will make you feel healthy and strong. Um, we, you know, we, we need nature in our lives and, and a lot of the time, especially if you work in an office or things like that, it's so busy um, and hectic and you're inside all the time, you're not getting that fresh air. <laughs> Excuse me. So, yeah, get outside every single day without fail. Um, another thing that's important to do is find purpose in your life. Find purpose in your work. Find purpose for you being here and write it down. Write your goals down, all of them. Write your goals in every area of your life and write down why you want those things. Like, it's so important to have purpose in your life. That's the driving force for why you do what you do, why you feel like you want to recover, you know, do that, you know, you know, push yourself to, 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 to write down your goals and the reasons why and read them every day, read them every single day, it's important, like, you need to remind yourself of why you're here and why you're doing what you're doing because we all need reminding of that, you know. Cause we all feel sad some days and when you're going through recovery and you're feeling lonely and you just want someone there to hold and to be with and you know you're gonna have to remember why you're doing this you know why you have to do this for yourself so um i'm just gonna i've got quite a lot this is end up ending up being quite a long set of videos actually so i'm just gonna uh, pause this and then i'm gonna carry on um 